winning coach, Becky Lawson, of uh, the Auburn High Falcons, Lady Falcons. Now, Becky came out here, took advantage of, this, of these guys, ran them out the, about to run them out the gym. Talk about that first half, how you put that at a incredible lead. Um, in the first half, uh, we came out in our, um, in our press. Uh, we showed them we wanted to pressure the ball, and we made them turn the ball over early. And our turnovers created some um, fast break points for us in the early good game. Now, in the second half now, you gave that all that back. They yeah. even took a two-point advantage after all that. What was the cause of that? All right, um, we, we were more working on our half-court sets, um, you know, trying to execute some half-court sets. Um, that we know that we need to work on in, uh, you know, for the future, for the playoffs. So, you know, I mean, we try to slow the ball down a little bit and, you know, we create, they created us to, you know, shoot a lot of jump shots where, you know, we like to get to the rack. So, you know, they created that and we was working on a lot of our sets, though, trying to get our sets together. And, you know, obviously we didn't execute the right way. We got a lot to do in practice. All right, now talk about the O'Malley girl, man. She was tough. I thought you guys did a wonderful job on her, though. Yeah. I saw some of that skills that she had. Talk you about, you know, defending her. And are you happy with your defense against her? Um, the O'Malley girl, she's real tough. I mean, we know her very well. You know, she works out with us in the off season, So we know that what she brings to the table. Our scouting report was a lot about, about her. Um, she's their leading scorer. You have to know where she is at all times. And I mean, this was her senior night and we knew that she was going to try to come out and do something at some time. So, you know, we was looking forward to her. So obviously I had to put one of my best defenders on her um, eventually. So Jordan Johnson played her and try to slow her up a little bit. I mean, uh, you know, we had a pretty tough stretch on our last couple games. Um, so this victory right now, um, no matter if we lost by, I mean, one by one or two or three, it didn't matter. The win, it was big for the program. It was big for us as in momentum wise. Uh, we need it, especially before we go into play a tough competition like Able Park on Tuesday night. Okay, talking about Jordan Johnson. Yes. Will she affect the game in other ways besides school? Yes. Well, Jordan Johnson is definitely our go-to on the defensive end. Um, she always plays everybody's number one, no matter if it's, if, if it's a five. Um, if it's a 6'2", 6'3", girl, and that's the score, Jordan Johnson wants the assignment. Um, so, you know, Jordan Johnson has been that person for me all year long, and her defense creates our offense. Now talk to me about what do you think you might end up at seeding wise in the section? Oh, we already, we already got the number two seed. Um, Shin, um, the, other, the game the other night was determined the number one seed. So Shin got the number one seed as of now, and we got the number two seed no matter what happens for the so you mean Shin in the finals? That's what you're <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that because we're going we're gonna to go game by game. Um, you know, we're everybody's championship game. So, you know, everybody's been coming out to play us no matter who it was, you know, who it is. Every team has been coming out and been showing up against us. So, we have to come out and play against anybody we play. Well, good job tonight on a tough one, victory on the road. He was able to eat it out. And good luck the rest of the way going into the sectional um, rounds and all that good stuff. And um, a little Falcon pride, baby. Falcon. Shout out to YouTube TV.